Hey everyone, Cody here, and today we're going to be doing a scrape painting, but before we do that, I want to show you the painting. You can kind of see the edge of it, but I'm going to flip the screen. Um, what I'm trying to do, because I'm trying to emulate this particular painting, this painting in and of itself was a great painting, and I actually have it in a video. However, it got damaged, so I can't sell it. So let me flip over and show you the painting, because this is what I'm trying to recreate in a way with these smaller paintings and I want to see if it's something we can do. <clears throat> now here's the painting. I can't really get any closer because we've got some some containers in the way. We're doing a little bit of fixing up around the house so there's a lot of mess out here um, in my garage. But anyway you can see that it is scraped all the way down with mostly a single color. Okay and you can see the background um, the background is like, it was like, uh, black, it was like red, blue, and maybe it was yellow. I don't, I don't remember what it was, but it ended up being like a dark blue all the way across. And then I took these colors and ran them in little lines <clears throat> with the paint and then scraped them all the way across. And this is actually one of my favorite paintings, but again, you can kind of see right there and right there, and there's a couple of small ones. They got damaged, so unfortunately it's not sellable, but it's still a great painting, and I want to try to make more of them because I really like this look. It's it's really like, it's got a lot of character to it. Um, so we're going to head over to the table. Today we're going to try to make a painting like this with maybe like a dark blue background, and then yellow, orange, red, and white. We're going to try to make something like this, alright? So let's head over to the table, and we'll uh, we'll dive right in. Okay, everyone, so here are the colors for today. Red, blue, orange, what? Oh, I forgot white. I have to grab white. Uh, and then the background is gonna be dark gray and brown because I don't know what I'm doing with my life. So let me grab white, we'll crack that open, and then we're gonna start painting. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and get started here. So we're gonna throw down our dark gray, and we're going to kind of brush in the, uh, the brown. And I guess I didn't mix it very well. And you know what? I don't know how much of this background is going to show up um, when I start painting because of the, the scrape patterns. So I'm going sh to put a little red in there just to kind of darken it. We'll see if we can uh, kind of mix these colors together. We'll hit it with a little bit of water. Maybe not. This is just going to help it kind of, you know, fill the canvas. And we'll get to it. the way that the, the gloss enamel makes like looks when you paint with it just because it's so shiny but it it just has such a vibrancy to it that it's one of the reasons I still use gloss enamel. Alright I think I actually need a little bit more because this canvas is just soaking it up. Do a little a little bit of red. Actually I could probably add a little here and kind of mix it in. And do that. And then a little gray. I'll actually put a little bit down here too. Kind of get that mixed in. For this reaches, you can really just kind of drizzle it. And then just go, you know, back and forth to kind of work it in. You don't want to go over it too much if possible because every time you go over it you're going to lose the vibrancy of it because it mixes together. This is a common problem that I have with gloss enamel 
I still choose to work with it. I like working with it despite its limitations. Not giving excuses on why I can't work with it because of that. And in all essence, it, it may not even matter a whole lot what the background looks like once we start scraping the paint over it. So I'm just going to get these colors out to the edges. Paint my lights and my uh, power cord there. Pull these paints out. This brown is really overpowering. I didn't expect it to be so much so. Covered. And I just kind of hit the edges. Actually, why not? I'm just going to really take some of this loose paint. Um, so I'm doing this for a couple reasons. I'll probably go over this in black anyway, so it doesn't really matter a whole lot. What I'm kind of doing is taking some of these colors so it's not so wet on the canvas. And just kind of putting them off to the side so that it's not so wet, so that when I scrape I don't absorb so much of that. Actually, I kind of like these colors, and I might try to do just a brush painting with just these colors. Actually, I think I'm going to do that now. These colors aren't too bad. Hmm. Do we take the minimalist approach, or... Continue with the plan. Uh, you know what? I've got all these paints open. I should probably use them. So we'll just stick with the plan. Okay. So I've got that covered. Now we will get to the fun stuff. Stupid bugs chirping in the background. Okay. So I'm gonna have to move these paints that I've got here. I actually don't need brown, so I'm gonna set it aside. And I don't know if I wanna use this gray again. Um, so I think I'll put it over here. All right, so for the rest of the painting, we're just going to go ahead and pull the colors together and scrape them downwards. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put just chunks of color on to the canvas and then scrape them downwards. I'm gonna do yellow here and probably again here. And then we're gonna do some orange. streaks of white. And then we'll do 
some gray. The gray is kind of going to be like the balance, basically. And then finally, the red. I'm just going to run over that. So we've got our colors, so now we'll use our plastic trowel we're really going to push into the paint and bring it all the way down. And I'm going to push up a little bit to cover the edge and then we're just going to slowly pull these colors through the painting. And you can see there was kind of a gap there. so. I'm just going to go up to cover the edge and then we're going to just with even pressure just pull these colors all the way down as far as they'll go. here for the paint. I'm going to have to move those. Or else I'm going to get other colors in them. And pulling it through. That is what I'm talking about. That is freaking cool. So, let's go over the next section. And we'll just do it again. So, we'll actually go up first to kind of get the edge. And then we will pushing pretty hard because the trowel is actually suctioned to the canvas so I almost have to pull it slow because if I just rip it off it's going to you know make a mess uh, yeah you can see that it's pulling the, the paint with it or the, the whole canvas yeah I have to lift it up so I'm going to tilt the front forward and pull it like that to really pull the paint through. And that's how you do it. Nice. Okay. So we got a little, got a little bit of paint on my elbow. I don't know if you can see that, but that's, that's how we do it. Okay. So we're going to go up, cover the edge, and then we're going to keep the front, the side that's facing me, tilted upwards so that it doesn't suction. But I'm pushing down on the back pretty hard to pull those colors through to the end. And there it is. All right, once again, we go up and then we go down and pull, 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 pull those colors. Next, go over what we did, go up, and then go down. And tilt it forward, push it down on the back, and okay. And then the last section is just the gray and red. So we're gonna tilt it this way. And we're gonna pull it. Little, a little 
less coverage than I'd like. Let's see if I can kind of even out the color. Ooh, that is a nice, solid chunk of red. Got it. Okay, cool. So, here is the only, and I got more paint around. The only issue that I have with this, the only issue is these little lines because they're they're raised uh, simply because of where the the two sections of paint were. It made a little mountain. Let me see if I can bring you guys along to kind of show you what I'm talking about. Okay, if you look from the side, you can you can see where the light is right there. Come on focus um that's a little like a little mountain of paint there's one right there too it's really kind of significant right there too and right there and then right there you can see that separation right there so i don't know what to do to be a hundred percent honest with you guys because if i try to fix it with something push it down, what'll happen is it'll mess up the design of the rest of them. But if I leave it, then I'm going to have little raised parts in my painting. Now it's not too bad, but it kind of drives me nuts. So, and if I keep going over it with a, you know, like a scraper or something, it's going to mess up all the other designs. So what to do? Hmm. Honestly, I think my best course of action is to kind of leave it um, because if I'm when I tend to mess with these uh, too much they get messed up. So I'm probably just gonna leave it. Uh, this is the final piece. I actually like it a lot. Um, I don't know if I like it more than the old streams of mercy, but it's it's definitely got what I was looking for. Just from the side, so you can kind of see all the different little streaks. Sorry if I'm going too fast, let me go slower. There we go. Okay, cool. Well, that's the final painting. I can't even back up enough to, to show you guys. Uh, I'm going to take a snapshot the thumbnail cool so all right well that's it guys i hope you enjoyed it uh i i like it and i think mission success or mission accomplished or whatever they say and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one take care guys bye